Some people who decided to cast their vote today ended up with a longer than expected wait. 3 News Net reporter Alyssa Curtis shows us how a power outage slowed early voting this afternoon. The line to vote today was about two and a half hours long until a power outage at the Douglas County Election Commission made it even longer. Around three this afternoon, the building lost power. The light started flickering inside. The power hadn't gone out yet, and I have a customer service representative for the Election Commission, so I immediately got on my cell phone and called her instantly. And um, she started working on things be even before the power went out. OPPD originally said it would take about two hours to get everything back up and running. It ended up only taking about 90 minutes. The power outage caused the line of voters to be cut by about two thirds. Those who were in line were given the option to pick up their ballot tomorrow and not have to wait. We gave voters the option to fill out the form that they would fill out to get a ballot here in our office and leave that form with us. And then we will process those ballots overnight and then they can come back tomorrow and pick up their ballots. After the power came back on, the process went smoothly. Voters Joe and Allison got there right as the power came back on and didn't have to wait too long. It wasn't too bad yeah. at all. I heard some people were waiting hours. We waited an hour to yeah. work out. Pretty easy. <laughs> the culprit of the outage. I guess there was a squirrel, according to OPPD. They got in one of the wires. In Omaha, Alyssa Curtis, 3 News Now. Now, because of the power outage, the Election Commission will be extending their voting hours tomorrow. Instead of 9 to 1, they will stay open until 5 p.m.